Since the last 5-6 years, there is growing interest in Rudraksh amongst Chinese people. They flock to Nepal and Indonesia and go into the interiors hunting for large beads that are uniform in size to make jewelry. They are likening the power of Rudraksh beads to Bodhi beads which are Buddhist prayer beads. They have started encouraging the farmers to use chemicals and hormones to stimulate the trees to produce giant sized beads. They are luring the farmers with higher purchase prices and are also making them clamp the fruits with gadgets while still on the tree to alter their shape to being flat on the mouth and the tail to suit their jewelry requirements. This is adversely affecting the flowering of the plants, growth of the trees and the natural production of different mukhis. The Rudraksh beads from such treated trees do not have the thorny structure and well-defined mukhi lines and look bulbous. Many trees are producing very less beads in the season. Trees, when treated, produce less of higher mukhis and more of mukhis from 5 to 10 mukhi, which these Chinese prefer owing to their uniform shape. Being the largest buyer from India of Rudraksh beads from Nepal and Java, Rudra Center is actively educating the farmers to avoid using these chemicals and hormones which will harm the plants in the long run and we are discouraging them by not buying these artificially enlarged bulbous Rudraksh beads.